shining star Staying tall like a statue Raise up like a shot shine Rise up like a shot shot Shine up like a star star Stand firm like a statue On my life On the up, I and I keep it on the up I and I keep it on the up On the up, I and I keep it on the up I and I keep it on the up Through all of these days, stand firm at the top While we live under the stars I and I keep it on the up I and I keep it on the up contender and I'm gonna walk you through from stern to bow. So on this boat we've got quad Yamaha 450 engines, they're V8s and they are incredibly powerful, perfect engine package for this boat. As you can see we've got a great buggy top here to block you from the sun and I'm five foot nine and there's plenty of room up here to lounge and relax, uh, plenty of room for two to three even four people can fit. Uh, we've got our controls here. We've got a Fusion MS NRX 300 up here so that it doesn't take up so much dash space. We've got a Garmin screen up here and we even added the Yamaha full maneuverability option up here just in case you're coming in, running in from the second station and it's windy and you need an easy way to park this boat. So we added that as a nice feature. Um, you also have your ICOM remote mounted mic. We've got all of our antennas, our amazing Marsh Tacky carbon, carbon fiber outriggers, as well as the Garmin Open Array radar and two Lumitech Razor light bars. They're actually angled at 15 degrees for maximum lighting, forward facing and out beyond the bow. And then we also have the Psyonix night vision camera, which we're excited to tell you more about later. We've got a transom rod rack, and that is a custom option along the back. And then standard, this would come with two transom live wells. We added a third transom live well. It is insulated as well. Uh, you've got the great clear lids, and you've got lights inside of the live wells as well. This is gonna be access to your bilge, and then you've got your in-floor live well here in the deck. One of the most beautiful parts of this boat has got to be the teak package, and that is done by Release Marine. Um, they did an amazing job. This beautiful rocket launcher with the Contender logo and Sea Deck here. We've got cup holders, rod holders. Um, so you can actually sit here as well and watch your spread, which is really, really a nice option. Sit right here on this great, great frigid, rigid cooler. Um, another thing I want to point out is the rod holder configuration with the three live wells. You have some extra space for two extra rod holders on the back on the transom. Another neat feature that we added to this boat is the Reverso engine flushing system. It is amazing technology. Plug your freshwater hose right in there and that is actually going to connect to your system. You've got a remote mount right here and what you're going to do is you press it once and it's going to flush for 15 minutes and it's going to go through each engine and then stop. If you press it twice, it's going to do seven and a half minutes and hit each engine and then stop. And then you can also stop it from that as well. You can see here is we added this Garmin nine inch screen and that has been very, very enjoyable for us. We're bottom fishing and we can see the bottom and don't have to look over the captain and people seated back here. Um, you can also see your speed and distance when you're sitting back here or hanging out. You can also control the music. So a lot of advantages to having that nice screen back here. You've got your grab rail cup holders and rod holders in the leaning posts, and then you've got your rod holders across the back of the T-top. Um, one thing that's neat to mention about the second station is it actually does fold down. The buggy top can be removed, the seat can be removed, the electronics fold down. So in case you do need to trailer or transport, you can do that a little more easily. 
Coming up here, you've got the two rows of release marine seats. The really neat feature here is you've got four in the second row because they don't have the individual armrests. They just have them on the outside to keep your passengers nice and safe. Below these four, you have some nice storage right here. Really accessible and great for your passengers and sunscreen. You'll see an amazing speaker and subwoofer configuration. I may have gone a little crazy on the speaker setup, but it does sound very good. Thank you, JL Audio. And then you're gonna have the three helm chairs here. All of them have individual armrests and really amazing. Folds right down, clicks into place, bring these seats down. Really, really nice. All right, so by far one of my favorite features on this contender is these amazing, beautiful release marine seats. Not only are they comfortable, there's two rows forward facing, so when you're running out, there's really nothing better than your whole crew facing the same way with your eyes out. Um, the other great feature is this, they rotate and you can be fishing. We've got a swivel rod holder right here if you're sword fishing. We all know how time consuming that can be watching the tip, so this just adds a little bit of comfort to that. Um, you can also deep drop and bottom fish out of here. Um, and what I really like, just so that I'm not too far from the rod or the action, is I even just like to sit here and have this to lean against. So it's extremely comfortable and nice, and we are just absolutely in love with this stadium seating. Then we took the teak all the way through this area and put this Edson steering wheel on here. It's teak and carbon fiber, stunning. You got your full maneuverability controls here. Um, this is a custom option. This is a teak aisle acrylic dash panel. And we decided to do this in white. A lot of people do it in black to make all the electronics um, kind of blend in, but it looks really nice with this color scheme. We think it turned out great. And then you've got your switch panel built into that acrylic dash, which is a neat feature. These glove boxes, of course, everyone wants more space when they're on the boat. This is a nice little arm. You've got your USB ports if you want to charge things in here, nice and safe and dry. And then you've got this switch here. This is actually going to raise your coffin box. Right here, you've got finger grip handrails, which is extremely nice for your passengers. And we've got the two 22-inch Garmin screens and the ICOM 510 VHF radio with another remote mounted mic. You can see with these release marine chairs, underneath them, they have their individual footrests if you'd like. And under here, you're gonna have access to your batteries. And we put some cup holders in here as well for convenience if you're sitting in one of these seats and actually very accessible for these passengers as well. This is an M series console. And what that means is a variety of things, but it's the style of this console. It's gonna include the two glove boxes on either side of the helm. And then it's gonna have one piece of Isinglass that's curved. Absolutely beautiful piece. And it looks stunning. The lines are beautiful. have four of these uh, speaker pods built into the T-top. The thing I like about that is that it kind of brings, distributes the sound from not just below you, but from above you as well. And it makes the sound sound even better. And obviously I cared a lot about that when I built this boat, considering it has 36 speakers. <laughs> um, you'll see this is a fiberglass flush mount, uh, forward facing spreader light that we added in. And that was more for forward deck lighting if we needed it. And then we've got an M-Series coffin box, and on the 44, it's really nice with the two butterfly doors, and then it also has a forward door as well. Here is your big forward fish box. It is absolutely giant. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go over a couple things in the build here for us. Uh, first off, you can see we have a Best Marine pump box. Uh, there's four pumps. We have four live wells, three across the transom, and one in floor. Um, I want to also talk a little bit about how the gas runs, right? What are you supposed to do? Should you run your saddles all the time? Do you run out of your centers all the time? What's the best way to do this? There's, there's three tanks in this boat, right? So we added 100 gallons. The 44 comes standard with 600. We added 100 gallons for extra range. So we have 700 gallons of fuel in this boat. 
So if you wanna take a look right here, this is gonna be right here what I've got. If you can see where are parallel, that means that the line's open. If I go perpendicular like this, it means the line's shut. So on this left two, in, the port two engines, I've got the port off and the other port off. I'm running both of those engines out of my center tank. The same thing on the other side because both of my saddles are low. Usually you fill them all the way up, run your saddles low, then you shut your saddles off and you finish with your center. That's the best way to get the most range out of your gas tank. All right, guys, so Michelle was just talking about uh, the Garmin electronics we have. There's a lot of different options that this has. As you can see, one of the options we put was a camera up in the tower. You can see Michelle up there now. Typically, what we did this for was for when our kids are up there. You know, this boat will go 75, 6, 7 miles an hour. Um, our kids won't get out of the tower. They love it up there. Um, but sometimes you're going really fast, starts getting a little bumpy. You can't really see if they want to come down. So we can see them on here if they, they want to come down or whoever's up there wants to come down. It's a nice feature. Um, also, I want to talk a little bit about the fuel economy on this boat. Um, contenders are probably the, the most fuel efficient boat in their class on, on every model. Uh, the 44 is a big boat. It's heavy. Uh, it's 22,500 pounds. We've got a tower on this boat. We've got an extra 100 gallons of fuel. I'm somewhere between 0.7 and 0.9. Uh, depending on whether I'm 700 gallons, or whether I got 200 gallons of fuel, whether I got 15 guys on here, or whether I got three guys on here, whether the live wells are full or not. But you can take it to the bank somewhere between 0.65 at the very worst, all the way topped off with everything, to, uh, to even 0.9, which is, which is great fuel economy on a boat this size. All right, one other thing about this boat, guys, something new for me um, is a Sea Keeper. Absolutely game changer. Um, you can be out there trolling, you're rocking and rolling, it just makes the day tougher. You hit the Sea Keeper, you literally go from rocking and rolling to dead even. You can put your beer on the side of the console, doesn't matter what these are, it's not falling off unless a wave hits it. Um, really impressive feature. Also, um, sitting at the sandbar, you're grilling burgers and dogs, and your beer's going here, and your burger's going over there, hit the Sea Keeper, sit like you're sitting in your in your backyard. So, uh, really nice feature, it, It's not they're not cheap. Um, but they are awesome on a boat. If you can, if you can get one, especially on the, some of these bigger boats, like a 39 or a 44, it makes a world of difference to have. The nice thing is you can put this cooler half in, half out when you're trolling, and you have a lot of space for your legs and a great spot to watch your spread. Guys, this right here is your T-top configuration. It will come with every contender that's got a hard top. It will come in your boat. Really, really nice. You're able to see, you're able to lay it flat on your hard top and see where your entry points are for whether you're adding lights, anything in your electronics, radar, anything up there, it's really nice. You just lay it down at your roadmap to everything you need to do for anything additional after it gets to you. All right guys, so I'm down here in the head. Um, this is very spacious. If you're going to the Bahamas, you're going on a trip, you can definitely throw tons of bags and stuff down here. The head is out right now, so it's usable. You can also just grab this quarter pin, slide it right on back, it to give yourself more room in here. Um, if you come in here, I'll show you a little bit more. Um, in here, is all of our wiring. There's our amps. It's beautiful. Contender did a great job, obviously, with this wiring, top notch. All right, guys, last but not least, here's your Sea Keeper. Uh, if you need to get in here, do any service, um, you can get in here and do it. So um, we're actually Sea Keeper dealers, so if you're in my market, come on, let us help you out. And this is your battery switch panel. Uh, we have four starter batteries two centers, a, part, a port, and a starboard. We've got an additional battery, a house battery, and a Sea Keeper battery. Obviously, you can see we're at 12.3 volts right now. This boat uh, holds battery great. Uh, no issues at all with all the stuff we've got on here. 36 speakers, um, just a great package all the way around. So I just wanted to point out on our combing bolsters and our seats, we've got the Bentley stitching. Um, this is a smoke white exterior primary color, and then we've got pearl gray stitching. And then on the combing bolsters, you've got the light gray piping as well. And last but not least, we also have the wings for the Isinglass. You can see where they slide in right here, and they attach right here. In case you're getting into some weather, crossing the Bahamas, tournament fishing, you're gonna stay dry with those wings. So a really nice option on this boat is the full maneuverability by Yamaha. Uh, I know a lot of captains are too cool for school and not needing this, and you don't need it, definitely not. But is it a great feature and option when you might find it handy? Yes. So sure, docking in the wind, tight spots, yes, it will help you. But the really nice thing is you can just hit stay point, 
okay? And that's gonna be a really great way to avoid throttling, up, down, up, down, messing around, trying to keep yourself in a location when you're trying to get bait or talk to one of your friends on their boat. So your buddy's gonna be there working at his wrist and you're gonna just be sitting here casually. You can stand right on the side of the boat and talk to them and not have to worry about messing with your throttles at all. So we're gonna turn, spin, like that, stern in. All right, so people always ask me, like, what head unit do you like the best? Obviously, the Fusion head units are great. Whichever one works for you and your boat is best. I personally really like these Fusion MSRA 670s. Unlike the 770, which is all touchscreen, the 670 has this nice little screen, but it also has actual buttons. And we all know when you're fishing, you might be sweaty, your hands might be wet, and you might need to change that song right away because it is not gonna be the right vibe for the boat. So this gives you that ability to actually push that button and skip the song or whatever you need to do. All right, so we have quad engines on this boat, which means that we're going to naturally end up with a side door instead of a transom door. I've seen a lot of side doors in my day. This is one of the best I've ever seen. The hardware is fantastic. There's multiple points that are keeping it locked in and closed. Um, and then when you're diving or hanging out the sandbar, this door opens all the way up and you've got your swim ladder going down and taking you out to have some fun in the water. This boat obviously with the release marine chairs, Lots of lots of comfort on this boat. Um, kind of feel spoiled now after after being able to be uh, spend a few months on this boat. But um, whoever ends up with this boat is going to get one of the nicest contenders ever built, and uh, love to have somebody be part of the family.